Judges 10. After the time of Abimelech, a man of Issachar, Tola, son of Pua, son of Dodo, rose to save Israel. He lived in Shamer, in the in the hill country of Ephraim. He led Israel 23 years. Then he died and was buried in Sh Shamir. He was followed by J Jared of Gilead, who led Israel 20 two years he was thir er, he had 30 sons who rode 30 donkeys they controlled 30 cities in Gilead which to this day are called Haveth Jer when Jared died when Jared died he was buried in Camon. Again, the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord. They served the Baals and the Ashtoreths and the gods of Aram, the gods of Sidon, the gods of Sidon, the gods of Moab, the gods of the Ammonites and the gods of the Philistines. And because Israel forsook the Lord and no longer served him, he became angry with them. He sold them into the hands of the Philistines and the Ammonites, who that year scattered and crushed them. For 18 years they were oppressed all uh, for 18 years they oppressed all the Israelites on the east side of the Jordan in Gilead, the land of the Amorites. The Ammonites also crossed the Jordan to fight against Judah. Benjamin and the house of Ephraim and Israel was in great distress. Then the Israelites cried out to the Lord, We have sinned against you, forsaking our God and serving the Baals. The Lord replied, When the Egyptians, the Amorites, the Ammonites, the Philistines, the Sidonians, the Alam Amalekites, and the Moabites oppressed you, and you cried out to me for help. Did I not save you from their hands? But you have forsaken me and served, and served other gods. So I will no longer save you. Go and cry out to the gods you have chosen. Let them save you from when you are in trouble. But the Israelites said to the Lord, We have sinned. Do with us whatever you think best. But please rescue us now. Then they got rid of their foreign gods among them and served the Lord, and he could and he could bear Israel's misery no longer. When the Ammonites were called to arms and camped in Gilead, the Israelites assembled and camped in Mizpah. The leaders the leaders of the people of Gilead said to each other, Whoever will 
launch the attack against the Ammonites will be the head of all those living in Galid.